this married woman is relentless, wants to have an affair with me. She's obviously not used to taking no for an answer. When I started my job, professor, a few years ago, I was invited on a camping trip. A woman there was very friendly with me. She's married, but her husband hadn't come on the trip. She tried to get me to come on a hike with her and another couple on the last day, and then give me a ride back to town, but I didn't go. After the trip, I got an email from the woman inviting me to speak at her class, she's a teacher. I did it, she was again very friendly. She'd occasionally ask me what kind of women I like, things like that. Out of nowhere one time, she told me that I'm smarter than her husband, also a professor. I thought she might just be clumsy, and I felt bad for the guy. I wouldn't want a girlfriend of mine to say that to another man. Maybe when I was at her class, we talked about going skiing. In every interaction, I made a point to talk about going with her and her husband. Long story short, day of skiing, only she shows up. She asks me again about what kind of woman I like, etc. I'm pretty old fashioned, so I don't speak my mind about that too much in academic circles. I try to give the hint that her friends might be too loose and cool for me. When we leave, she talks about going swimming together with no clothes, but I go home. Later, I'm in a relationship. I go hiking with my girlfriend. Run into the woman on a trail. She's almost manic, asking questions, asks the girlfriend's last name, where she's from, etc. She also tries to hug me I refuse as politely as I can and put my arm around the girlfriend. It's super awkward. Girlfriend is annoyed at her afterward. Speak at her class again. It goes alright, we get coffee after. I'm wary of it, but don't want to make too much of it. She asks me about the girlfriend, we were broken up, and I try to say relatively little. I think I ask about her husband and kids, standard fare for me if I'm one on one with someone who's taken. Some time after that I managed to redirect some invitation into a meal with her husband and kids. Kids are sweet, husband is standoffish, but I genuinely like the guy. We talk about something. The next day, I bring some things we'd talked about and give them to the husband. He seems unhappy. I think, okay, if I want to be friends with this couple, it's best to interact through him. I leave something nice for him, he'd given me a small present, and return something outside his office door. I don't hear from him, but later, his wife messages me to thank me. A while later, I'm in another relationship. The woman emails me the name of her friend, maybe her Facebook asking to set me up, asks me to meet her, the woman, not her friend, to talk. I tell the woman I've got a girlfriend, and I tell new girlfriend about it the same day. I don't meet her. Girlfriend is jealous, unhappy, etc. We later break up. Later, I'm doing some volunteer stuff with another teacher. She, other teacher, knows the couple, seems to be close to the husband. I'm supposed to do volunteer stuff for a grant I have, and it's hard with the shutdown, everything is remote now. Since I've already made some curricula for the other teacher, I write the woman to offer to share them, thinking it's easy and clean and we wouldn't even meet in person. When it comes to talking, she mentions out of nowhere that her husband is out of town. She also implies she's depressed. I try to be nice while not too intimate and after saying some friendly things to help cheer her up, I tell her I'm going to get rid of my email address, not a lie, it's nice to unplug every once in a while. She's upset like I'm abandoning her somehow. So I invite her and her husband and her kids to do something. She replies that her husband perceives a spark that she might agree, pays me several compliments, and then says that she would never risk, her, marriage. In the same message, she proposes going hiking together alone, no husband, no kids. I reply, tell her I think it's great her husband is protective of their relationship, that marriage is more important than other relationships, etc. I try to write it so that if he read the message, he'd know that I'm clearly in his corner. I tell her it would be fun to say hello, but that if she was my daughter, I would tell her that if a man inviting she and her whole family isn't good for her marriage, then meeting one-on-one -on -one isn't good to do. I throw in something about how it can be harder for men than people think, that life can feel like a tournament and that no one loves you unconditionally. I don't say this, but I figure there's a rift with her husband, maybe he's hurt and distant, and she's trying to scratch the itch for intimacy elsewhere instead of nursing him back to health with the expectation that, 
when he's healthy again, he'll take care of her. I think that's pretty much it, the air has been cleared, I don't insult her interest but I make it clear that I'm not gunning for her husband. It feels like the high road. She replied by inviting me out with just her again and wrote that me speaking as her father was a twist. It was like a twist of rancid lemon. Is she looking for a sympathetic ear or is she trying to have an affair and I'm being obtuse? We're all Catholic by the way if that makes a difference in your take, I'll be honest, it's great being around people who think well of you, people who'd push to set you up when you're single, etc. I haven't made advances on this woman, but I haven't completely avoided her. The city I live in is small, I work with her husband, I think it would be great to be friends. I'm also a bit of a loner, and it's welcome to know people who are so social. I know myself and know that I wouldn't want an affair anyway, because I wouldn't trust the woman who cheated to be with me. I don't want to live in a world where we're all animals with no honor and where nothing is safe. I'm not going to sleep with her. Is there a better out other than just ghosting or saying no thanks for the new offer to meet up? What I'd really like to do is give this guy a hug, tell him I know life is a blood sport in this way, commiserate that it's easier to break stuff than defend it, make clear I'll know his family through him, and become friends. The husband and I could help each other fell a big tree now and then, stuff like that. We'd all eat together here and there, and I'd volunteer with the woman's class. Maybe someday I'd meet one of the woman's friends at a party we hit it off. TLD our wife of couple is very warm to me. It's been very difficult to meet up with her and her husband, almost always just her. I want to be a good friend, not a homewrecker, just ask Agnes, Agatha, Jermaine and Jack. She recently explained she's attracted to me and that she wants to protect her marriage. I thought this was a good clearing of the air, which would either lead to a clean exit or to make it less awkward to be friends with she and her husband as a couple while not feel awkward for keeping distance between she and I but even after that, she's still trying to meet one on one. I don't know if she's essentially trying to have an affair and I should just ghost. If she's actually into you, which she obvious is skinny dipping, seriously? Then this. Husband and I could help each other fell a big tree now and then, stuff like that. We'd all eat together here and there, and I'd volunteer with the woman's class. Maybe someday I'd meet one of the woman's friends at a party we hit it off. Is not gonna happen lol. You're clearly a good person and I'm sorry she's putting you in this situation, but trying to befriend her husband instead of her is just going to annoy her and make things awkward for everyone. If your wife had a crush on another dude, would you really want him hanging around eating dinner and buddying up to you? Personally I would just politely ghost her. Sooner or later she'll develop a crush on someone else and cringe at the way she acted around you. Right? Considering how standoffish the husband was, it sounds like he's absolutely not interested in being friends with the guy his wife is pursuing. You're almost certainly right. He did give me a couple of presents, and we've had a couple of good interactions, but your point stands. Fair enough, you've got a point. I just would like him to see that I'm not gunning for him. For me, that would alleviate a lot of it if I were him, it reduces it from a problem that is both marital and with an outside opponent to just a marital problem, which is still difficult. He and I aren't in the same department, but the fields are almost the same. If I had a magic wand that would make clear to him I'm not pursuing his wife, even though it wouldn't alleviate her lack of loyalty, I'd at least give him that. But I agree, there's no way to do that. Sounds like you have a decision to make. Either be a homewrecker, which you don't want to do, or ghost her because wow. She is relentless. She obviously is not used to taking no for an answer. No means no, and she doesn't seem to be listening. What a horrible person she is, to do that to her family. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep with her. I haven't really thought about it altogether until trying to write this post, and you're right it is absurd when you think about it. I agree, that's an awful thing to do to your family. I don't see much of a point if there's no honor code with your own spouse. Sometimes just writing it out helps us to see the situation clearer. Best of luck to you smile. Crikey she never gives up does she, I think you need to be very clear, the next time she makes any sort of overture toward you tell her that you are not interested in her and that even if you or you do not engage with married women and would she please stop as she is embarrassing herself. Stop going on hikes and stuff with her it's giving her hope. Totally I've never gone on a hike with her. 
It's always been volunteering at her school or that one time going skiing when her husband was supposed to join us and then didn't show. Would you recommend also ignoring slash saying no to invitations for things where her husband and kids are going? I think I've been telling myself that if we just interact only in those situations and rarely, it will just go away organically without a bunch of drama, the city is small, but universities are also like small towns. I mean I would still continue with the group things that you enjoy doing and if you see them there keep any interaction to a minimum, like just be polite and move off quickly. She's not being subtle about her attraction to you and seemingly her husband is somewhat aware, must be horrible for him. If she corners you just say look I'm not interested in you could you leave me alone. I think you need to set a hard line with her, it's starting to feel a bit like mistreatment to me and she needs to hear an unequivocal no from you. I'm willing to bet they're in an open relationship and she's scouting a sexual partner. The whole thing is just too brazen to be an affair. Yeah, that's why I find it so strange. The only times I've had someone approach me like this happen was in big, hip cities where people would have an open marriage or be looking for a third or something. That's why it surprised me, they're Catholic. The couple might not be so serious about their faith, but I just have such a hard time believing they would have an open marriage. If that's the case, it's demoralizing, it feels like that crap is everywhere. Also, if it's an open marriage, I have no idea what that I'd never harm my marriage deed or she took was about. She could have just said, wanna screw? And I'd say, nah, and then avoid them like the plague. Well she seems to be an intelligent woman that understands it will take some degree of tact to bring you around to being comfortable with this. As for the Catholicism, I've lived my entire life in the Roman Catholic Church and the Church means many different things to many different people. Worldwide comments of the day, played his video games, damn the wife did him dirty with that alone. But in all seriousness he needs to seek some therapy or seeking help from his family if these nightmares continue further or get worse. I can't even leave my house without seeing reminders of my ex. Trash cans, garbage trucks, dog crap, recycling boxes, etc. The guy is lucky to get rid of her. She's a waste of life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.